Wow. For Those 25 were the good days. years. That's yeah. some commercial. For 25 years, from the 70s to the 90s, Jerry Foster was broadcasting from the chopper, covering everything from traffic to breaking news and wild weather. Whatever was happening, he was in the sky bringing it to you at home. Yeah, the stories about Jerry up in the chopper are legendary. So today, Jerry, now a hospice patient with Hospice of the Valley, is being treated to one more helicopter ride. How exciting. So Gibby's out at Western Sky Helicopters bringing us that story. Hey, Gibby. Good morning. Yeah, I mean, Scott, you know, you flew uh, many years with Jerry. I know I did. I, it was Jerry Clifton and Jerry Foster. Both of them really taught me how to cover news. They were my tripod, to be honest with you. When you're a cameraman, all you had to do was point it out the window and they did the rest, to be honest with you. So it's, it's an honor for me to just be honest with you. And Lin Su knows this. This is a pioneer in TV news. No one did it before you, Jerry. I don't know. And if there was, I want to see who that was. You created this whole thing. How exciting is this to turn around and kind of bring it all full circle? Oh, here? I'm just so honored. I tell you, I, I, um, I was the first with a helicopter here in the valley. And um, it went over so well that it, it didn't take long for it to spread all over the world, actually. Um, KOOL TV had uh, Tom Chauncey and Homer Lane. I mean, um, they told me to take that helicopter and uh, go have a good time and make some friends. And I'm telling you, I have my job was the best. My school kids, you know, I went to. We, we visited most every school here. You have, and I remember you telling me something. When we'd get to a school, you said, you do one thing. You show every kid on there that you can because somewhere at their home is their mom watching. And we would make sure we got every kid that was in. And basically, Lin Su, that's kind of what he's doing a little here today. He's going to go out with hospice, and he's been doing this forever. What does this really mean for them to be able to go up in a chopper like this? Well, uh, we're hoping we're making one of his dreams come true. Um, our hospice team absolutely adores this man, as does the entire valley. And we love to make dreams come true. So we're just so honored that he gets to have this helicopter ride. And look at that smile. That's what we want to see. Well, and that was the thing. He always made me smile. I will tell you, uh, truth be told, I was always scared of heights. So when Jerry me asked me, when Jerry asked me to open up the door to the helicopter and to start shooting, I'm like, you mean this door here? But that was the whole part was to be able to come on out and for you to be able to fly folks for all these years. Because it wasn't only helicopters. You flew everything pretty much. Uh, I did. I was, um, I started off w with airplanes and um, I was actually the first airport manager here at Scottsdale. And um, it was just uh, it just progressed from there, you know, and um, we started a lot of things. Every time you see a, a, an emergency helicopter, a law enforcement helicopter particularly, um, or even a medical helicopter, it all started right here w with our program. So um, Arizona was a great place to, te to check and test helicopters. It's called a hostile environment because of the sand and the heat and the cold wears out those blades and uh, it just all it just all came together and it wasn't uh, are there any stories in particular that <laughs> hey, are there any i know I, and there's the thing the fact that he's I speechless it. i remember them having to wrap him for every live show is there any story that you remember in particular because you flew for 12 for years you flew for us in three i mean everybody we even had a video coming out uh, from the commercial jerry foster the I, I, do you have that in rotation i shouldn't sing it because I, I i'm not a good singer true <laughs> <laughs> true <laughs> But what was the question? What were, what were one of the fam your most famous stories you love to cover? Um, you have so many stories. Oh, I have so many stories. I, I tell you the the, the rescues, right? I mean, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, a lot of rescues. But the, the reason being uh, is that I was the only helicopter in the valley. You know, there were National Guard and so forth, but they weren't allowed to get involved with the uh, civilians. So. Um, I also kept the helicopter at home for 20 years, you know, and that was my advantage because I could shoot my own video. And, uh, you know, back in my day, being first was everything, you know. And then when I went to Channel 12, they gave me the first jet helicopter and also the first unit 
so I could microwave a signal from the helicopter to the station. That was the beginning. And, um, and look at what we've done now. Everybody now, there's, I don't know how many other stations from around the world are now doing chases, are now having video from it. And guess who the pioneer was? This man right here. As a matter of fact, he's going to get to go up on the flight, get his last flight, get it all set up here because Hospice of the Valley is making all that happen. And Scott, uh, he says there's room in the back for you if you want to go for a ride. Hey, I'm all down. Uh, Jerry's such a great guy, too. He'll probably push the pilot aside and go, let me, <laughs> let me take over. I'll show you how to do this. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. He's oh. such a great guy. Tell him hi. Yeah, uh, and let's see as well. Uh, Gibby, thank you so much. Glad that they were able to share that with us. And we got to oh share this. Gosh, April, tell us everything. <laughs> okay, so it was the 80s. It was a big deal because we used to watch Jerry Foster every night on Channel 3 as well and he was coming to our school, Greenfield Elementary in Gilbert. He landed the helicopter there on the field and I got to meet him. Oh my gosh. It was gosh. like the highlight of my childhood. And I that swear he said, you can, you know, grow up and be on the news too. I'm like, okay. Hey, look at you now. <laughs> my mom's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> that is uh, so cool. I love Jerry. Oh, so that's an adorable picture. It wow, sure is. is. That's a keepsake for sure. It, it, was, it was a highlight for sure yeah. of, of, you know, my childhood days there, but also getting to meet him as an adult yeah, and talk to him a little bit as well. So.